see how it looks. So yesterday I cleaned this thing up, prepped it, and bedlined it. Looks good front to back, both sides. No rest, but it's kind of boring. It's just black. So that's the reason why I made this piece right here. So it's gonna go right over the top, little overlay. Some of these holes have to be bigger than the others because there's a spacer going in here for the bearings. I can't let them be affected by this metal at all because they're right exactly where they're supposed to be. So it should look good. It's pretty. I got so far both the regulators have a spot now of course I'm not using acrylic to mount them this is just a prototype and there's a couple of adjustments that I still need to make to it but I'm almost there right now looking good it's exactly what I needed right here so after I make those few little changes that I saw I need to make we're gonna transfer this thing over to a piece of stainless and then mount it in and then it'll be permanent it'll be in there I'll be ready to run some wires and get this thing charging. Everything's fitting in real nice. Slide right over the top of those stock little studs. I'll be able to bolt that right in, all three of them. We got Mechman Elite Series, 1600 amp, tucked away. When this is all done, I'll put that brace back in where it belongs. All right, time to bring this over to the fiber laser, make a stainless bracket, and we'll call this done. We can start hooking some wires up. Let's go see what kind of metal we have sitting over here. Got just about everything I need. Let's see if I have a big enough piece of scrap. And it looks like I do. We got some 10 gauge stainless here. 
I think the 12 gauge is probably more than enough as well. I just have to do this out of 12 gauge. Let's just do this out of 12 gauge. That's plenty. 16 gauge here. That ain't gonna do it. Enough left in this seat. Oh, there's hardly anything left on here. CO2 laser. When I took this prototype out, I didn't move the rest of it, so this should drop right into its spot, the exact same spot. But first, I'm gonna have to put some stuff on here. that dry for a second and we'll get our etch on so I could have etched this into the metal with the fiber laser but it would have been more like a scratch 
using the sear mark I'll get a nice bold black outline so let's run this see how it does Nice and blurry, right? So hang out a second. It's hard to do this with just one hand. It's looking good though. Of course, you know me, I want to make this as difficult as possible. I could just go with some Phillips head, but we want these nice Allens. Because I have them. Because I can. The stainless is definitely harder to tap than the aluminum. I know that goes without saying, but I don't tap a lot of threads into stainless, so I wasn't expecting it to be that much of a pain in the butt, but I got it done, and I think it's gonna work out good. Of course we got these middle ones right here that need a fastener but I'm gonna put those in after these regulators are on because they overlap
thing's damn near perfect. About as perfect as I can expect from somebody like myself. So let's go drop it in the vehicle. Call this video a wrap for the day. Do some wiring tomorrow. What used to be this right here is now this right here. See how it fits. Perfect. Just perfect. Still clears. That's good. We're all done now. That's it. Looking good. Nice and solid, ain't going nowhere. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get up bright and early. I'm gonna start running a few wires, get this thing charging, get the four alternators synchronized with each other, get the two regulators synchronized, and we should be good to go. Then I'll be ready for that big ass sky high two aught, which is actually closer to three aught, maybe a little bit bigger. Stay tuned, that's coming up next, soon. And thanks for watching if you did. I knew that was gonna happen. God damn it.